about when you talk about the, the King of King and the Lord of Lord and the God of glory. Talk about the one who suffered, bled, and died and was buried. And on the third day, he arose. When he come out of that grave, praise the Lord, I want you to know that meant, Brother Brad, that you can come out of that grave. I can come out of that grave. That grave is not our final destination, but praise God, there's an excellent spirit that God put in us. Oh, that day he walked out there. Lazarus is gone. His body decayed. He already stinketh. Mary said, I believe it was, or Martha. And, and they thought it's too late. He's gone. He's, 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 we've had the funeral. Now we're mourning for 30 days. What can be done? Master, if you'd have been here, he wouldn't have died. Well, praise the Lord. You know what? I don't want to live in this world forever. Do you? I don't want to see what coming in Armageddon. I don't want to be here when the tribulation period comes. And praise God, I'm not going to be because I'm going to be with the Lord and before the tribulation period comes, either he'll bring me from the grave or he'll lift me off this earth, but I will be in the Lord here. I will be in the Lord there and my God will be with me throughout all eternity. Not just 60 years, but all of eternity. Praise God. Aren't you glad you love him today? Glad that he's your Savior. Glad you can praise him. Lift up his name. Shout it in glory. Let the heavens fall upon you. Let the Spirit of God move. Let something happen that's never happened to you before in your life. Give up that world out there that's taking you to hell. Give up that world that's damning your soul. Give up that world that keeps you out of church. Let it go. It's nothing. It's just in the wind and it'll blow away. What are you going to have left when the last drink is gone? When you smoke the last joint, what have you got left? You just got loneliness. You just got uh, internal up, upheaval inside. But thank God when you get saved and let Jesus Christ come in your life. You know what you got? You got a spring in your step. You got glory that not only lasts while we're having this service, but it'll be there this afternoon. It'll be there tomorrow. It'll be there next month. It'll be there next week when you come back to the house of God. It'll be there when you're lying on the hospital bed. It'll be there when you get sick. It'll be there when the doctor shakes his head sadly and says there's no more we can do for him. I got news for that doctor. There's someone going to do more for me. Woo! The great physician is going to do more for me. He's not going to let me die. You say, preacher, you're going to live forever? Yes, I sure am. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Man, they'll walk by my house. Say, that fellow you to live there. He's dead now. I'll correct you. <laughs> that fellow who used to live there was dead back until 1953. And that fellow came alive in 1953, May the 15th. And that fellow ain't never going to die. You mean preacher, you're not going to die. No, I'm not going to die. This old tabernacle will be stuck out to God or in a grave if Jesus don't come back. But thank God, let me tell you, Charles Emmons still be alive. But that won't be my name. Whew. Because in May the 15th, 1953, you know what I got? I got me a birth certificate they don't have in Frankfurt. I got me a... God. You know what? You got to have a birth certificate when you get a passport. Well, hallelujah. I got a passport one time. And they had to have my birth certificate. I was sent to Frankfurt and got it. But let me tell you, I've got a passport that's already been stamped. Oh, the man knows who I am. <laughs> hallelujah. He won't have to worry about a terrorist coming in. He already knows me. He knows my name. And thank God, I've got a passport that's written in heaven, the Lamb's Book of Life. And thank God, when that name comes up, my new name springs forth. This old boy's going to get out and walk on streets of gold. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Billy, you haul blacktop. But thank God I won't need you, son. My road done been paved. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Don, I won't need you, girl. 
to bring me another ham hog or whatever it is. I won't need you. Because I'm going to sit down and eat from the 12 men of the fruits of, of the tree of life. I'm going to have me a meal that's going to last forever. You know why? Because that excellent spirit of God can do this for you. You might say, preacher, I joined the church. I didn't change me. No, it won't. You might say, I listened to the preacher on television, and, and uh, you know, he said some good things, but they didn't change me. Well, listen, you were looking at a preacher this morning, can't change you either. If it's if left up to me, you don't have a chance, because I can't save you. But thank God, I can point you to one who can. I can point you to one who can. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus can. So it doesn't matter this morning where you've been, what you've done. It doesn't matter how, how much sin you've committed. It don't matter uh, adultery, fornication, drinking, uh, any, uh, you know, just a hatred in your heart, whatever it might be. You might say, preacher, you don't know where I've been. You don't know how I live. You think God have anything to do with, with, do with me. No, I don't think he'd have anything to do with you. I know he'll have something to do with you. He died for you. He died for you. He didn't die for me as a Christian. He died for me before I became a Christian. Now I didn't realize it, but now I know he died for me. And he was buried for me. He was resurrected for me. He stood in the clouds of glory one day when the disciples watched him leave. And the, and the angels come and said, Oh, ye men of Galilee, why stand here gazing? Don't you know in like manner that the same one that left is going to come back? Hallelujah. <laughs> I didn't see him leave, but thank God, every eye shall see him, even those that pierced his side. And when that trump of God sounds and I look towards the eastern sky, I'm going to see him on the clouds of glory. And then I'm going to be caught up in the air and I'm going to meet him on that cloud. Thank God. The devil and sin, wars and rumors of wars, heartache, breath, death, and funeral home, they'll all be behind us. God will never have to go to another visitation. I'll never have to preach another funeral. I've preached more funerals in the last two years. And it just about kept me busy. A lot of them out of this church. But thank God, let me tell you something. The ones that died in the Lord, I haven't seen the last of them. Amen. Oh, I'm going to see them again. The world can call me crazy. They can just say I'm an old country preacher. Oh, honey, you got it just right. You can call me whatever they want to. I don't care. Just as long as I hear that call. When Jesus says, son, it's time to come home. I'm going home to be with the Lord. Now people think we're crazy because we believe in Jesus Christ. Well, look what they're believing in. Look what they're doing. Don't you think Putin would be a little better off if he had Jesus? You think Hitler would have been better off if it had Jesus? You think a lot of our leaders would be better off if they had Jesus? You wouldn't be putting a woman in jail for nothing. I'm going to quit before it gets any better. No, not good preacher. You know what? I'm, I'm not a good preacher. 